And for an overall impression, back a little further. Is uh, it, it's, of course this can be put on you know whatever side of the uh, thing you you, uh, you need. You know, I got my inspiration from these these carriage stops because this lady doesn't have a a, a, a built-in carriage stop, and uh, little machine shop shells these things. I said, well, you know, I can make a clamp like that. I shouldn't have had to buy these things. I should have just made them. Just didn't cross my mind until I saw it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got two of them. I can put one on each side of the carriage and, and completely lock it down, which sometimes on a little light machine like this you kind of need to do. Because I was noticing when I was facing stuff that uh, it wouldn't come out flat. It would actually, tool pressure would actually make the uh, carriage creep back a little bit and it would come out with a dome shape or something. <laughs> Unless I was standing there hanging onto the uh, flywheel. So anyway, I'm quite happy with that. To go along with my other innovations, uh, like my, my quick and dirty brass pipe holder of whatever you need held, chuck wrenches, calipers, felt pins, nogas, you know, anything quick and easy. And works just absolutely great. And of course, I got my tool selection here, and my no bozo sticker hiding back there that didn't work yesterday. Well, that's because that was on the milling machine. It's here. You know, I, I, I print out another one and put it on the milling machine. Okay, got the proper clamp on there. We got my eight millimeter relocatable latching handle here, so that makes it easy. Get that out of the way. So, where what did I do with the? Uh, yeah, okay, that's gonna work, and I, I imagine anything I want to put on there is gonna work too. Being this is screwed on, this piece of uh, cast iron that was obviously used to be a uh, the bottom of a uh, iron that was screwed onto the iron, but why Grandpa cut that off, I don't know. Maybe it was a broken iron. Grandpa saved everything. He went through the trash. Anything anybody threw out, he found a use for it or put it away for when he would find a use for it. <laughs> so maybe it was broken and he just... Uh, Cut it off square. Who knows? An old machinist uh, never throws away a piece of cast iron. Anyway, that works. And being as I've made this the bracket all out of aluminum, it won't really hurt the ways at all, even though they're not hardened. Shouldn't hurt them any. <laughs> and it's nice and solid. I mean, solid, solid. So that should uh, that should work out fine. And and I can I can unscrew this uh, cast iron and put other attachments on here if I think up of something, you know. So uh, I've got uh, future stuff built in, maybe, yeah, you know, just in case. That's why I wouldn't want to do this out of a uh, one solid piece. Well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be magnetic if it was aluminum, and, and you wouldn't really want to make it out of steel and put it on the, on the uh, ways. <laughs> yeah, quite happy with it. Okay, here's another use for that... Uh, clamp thing I built with I've got my magnetic uh, indicator on here and I need to cut three quarters of an inch off the screw here 
So I've got it set for 750 right now. So all I have to do is just advance this guy to. Oop. Come on. To zero. And the screw that I'm uh, working on. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Doo -doo. Should be. Caliper set for three quarter. And there's there's the. Uh, can't see it because it's the wrong way around, but well, you can kind of see anyway. One way of, uh, another way of using uh, this guy for something useful.